and welcome. As this title suggests, this is going to be a book haul because I, I can't stop myself when it comes to books. And a little bit of an announcement. Uh, come February, I'm going to have more time to read. So hopefully that means that I will, one, consistently upload every Monday, like I, I have in my little banner there, but also that I'm hoping to add a second day because I will actually be able to read more books. This is Miss Moxie. Um, she's a cat, she's gonna do what she wants. So let's get started. So on eBay, I, after reviewing Grayfax Grimwald from The Circle of Light by Neil Hancock, I needed to find the rest of them because one, Dragon Winter gave me so much joy as a child and I do need to reread it because I hadn't read it since an I was an adolescent. And because this book left a different impression on me, it makes me feel like maybe adolescent Bob just had a different mindset approached um, when approaching these books. So I kind of want to read the whole series or the whole collection of Neil Hancock's work set in Atlantean Earth just to see what it's like. So I found this on eBay for like $15. So it's one through four. I already have a copy of this. It's in better shape. This is an older copy. So this is like the ninth printing from the 70s. The one that I have is from 1983 and it's in much better shape. And actually the quality of paper is much better. So this one, I will figure out a way to pass that on. However, these three, so two through four in the circle of light. So we got Farragon, Faringway here. Califax Stay, which is the third book. Look at these covers. I love this artist. And then Circle of Light 4, which is what, what is this called? Squaring the Circle. But all three of these are first edition paperbacks, which I did not know when I bought this. It just said a lot of four, the complete series. So I'm very pleased about this. Again, this is from 1977. So the quality of paper is not great. Also, um, they're a little sad and they definitely have been read, but that's okay because that means whoever had these probably really loved them and definitely read them, which uh, that's what books are for, right? Reading and enjoying those worlds and stories. So I'm glad I have the complete set so now I can read this entire series because I, as I said in my review, I did get very attached to the characters uh, the more I read the story. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I will link that review up above. The next books I picked up, all the paperbacks I picked up at a thrift store for 25 cents. <laughs> And then the two hardbacks I picked up at a secondhand shop, secondhand bookshop for like $4 a piece. So pretty excited about those. So I picked up this, this is Jack L. Chalkner's. This is volume two of the Four Lords of the Diamonds, Cerebus, A Wolf in the Fold. I picked this up because I am getting more and more into vintage sci-fi. This is a first edition paperback for this series. I do not have the first one, but if I ever come across the first one, I can then start this series. So I have like a box of books that I have that I'm just like trying to find the rest of them. Thankfully, you guys have been amazing in the comments as far as like telling me what the rest of the books are or what I should be looking out for. So I appreciate that. So thank you very much. This next one is a vintage copy of Cat's Cradle by Kurt Vonnegut. I have never read this. I've never read Cat's Cradle. Uh, this is going to be for Books Without Barcodes. Uh, I feel like I should read this. This is considered classic literature. Uh, so I'm definitely excited about finding this for 25 cents, especially a vintage copy. I then also found a Without Barcode Isaac Asimov iRobot, which Man, I was floored when I found this for 25 cents, 25 cents. I found this and snapped it up with a quickness. So I'm very excited to find like what some consider the epitome of Isaac Asimov or at least one of his better known works in 
vintage paperback format. Uh, this is Timescape, Fire, Flood, and Other Stories. So this is a collection of short stories by Vonda McIntyre. So I, I've read um, one Silverberg collection of short stories. So they can be interesting. So I'm, I'm excited about this. I also picked up a vintage copy of The Time Machine and War of the Worlds. So this is a paperback version of two of H.G. Wells' better known stories with an introduction by Isaac Asimov. And that is what made me pull the trigger on this one. I have actually, shamefully to say, have never read either of these uh, books. So I figured, you know, 25 cents vintage without barcode copy with an introduction by Isaac Asimov. I have to buy this. This, the small child in me bought because of course <laughs> it's Stuart Little by E.B. White. This is a vintage paperback copy by Dell. There we go. So this is just a vintage paperback copy of Stuart Little by E.B. White, same person who wrote Charlotte's Web, which has been remade into a bajillion different, both live action and animated movies. So I picked this up because the child in me had to. I also picked up a vintage paperback copy of Close Encounters of the Third Kind by Steven Spielberg. So this is the novelization of the movie. And I do believe this is a first edition paperback. So some of these I picked up, one because I was interested to read them. Yeah, this is um, from 1977. 1977 was apparently the year to do vintage fantasy and sci-fi, but like, so. Um, also, I've never watched this movie, so I'm going to be the weirdo that reads the book before I watch the movie. Maybe I'll do a comparison uh, between the two, if you're interested. Just let me know if that's something anybody would be interested in. Uh, this, I don't know why I bought this. I, I, I couldn't get a, a, I couldn't get a read as to what this book was about. I couldn't tell if it is science fiction or if it's just a critique about science fiction at or speculative fiction just in general but I, I got it and I'll eventually read it but this is by Harlan Ellison Alone Against Tomorrow this is stories of alienation and speculative fiction so it sounds kind of like more of a book about books but I'm not quite sure I just thought the cover was crazy and it seemed like something cerebral to read and sometimes I'm into that so there's that. Again, for all of those paperbacks, I paid 25 cents. For this collection, I paid $15 for the books and to have them shipped to me, which I thought was quite the deal, considering how hard Neil Hancock books are to find. And then the two hardcovers, again, I paid $4 a piece at Second and Charles. So I picked up The Day of Their Return by Paul Anderson. I have read one other book by Paul Anderson, which I reviewed, which I will link up above. And it had me interested in reading more to see if uh, some of the some of the interesting things I found about his writing continued throughout his writing, or if maybe that was just kind of like a one-time thing. And then wrote, got another book by Paul Anderson. I don't know how exactly to say this. Uh, Markheim, Markheim, Merkheim, Merkheim, probably. But I thought this was, it's like the bat symbol, but I think this is supposed to be a spaceship. Or this is a spaceship and they're looking out of the spaceship. I'm not quite sure. But I picked up these because they seemed like, you know, quintessential sci-fi under 200 pages. Am I correct? I am. Nice, tight sci-fi. So excited about this. I'm excited uh, in February I should have seen more free time so I will hopefully be reading more books and giving you all more reviews so that way it's not just a bunch of hauls and more about my experience reading. Hopefully you guys will like that. 
and I will see you all in my next video for hopefully a review of something. And until then, bye! Um, that is just not focusing. Come on! Hello!